Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. In today's video will be super helpful information. Any of you having a BMW X5 and it doesn't matter what engine you have, this uh, straight six, excuse me, inline six V8 gasoline diesel engine, guys, and you're trying to find find out how to test knock sensors and know if the knock sensor is good or bad so you don't waste your money on uh, just buying random sensors. Stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. Now, quick introduction to the channel guys. Every single car we get at the shop we make at least guys two to three hundred free repair videos. Why? Specifically guys we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel, like the video and let us know if it was helpful guys. Uh, so we can keep providing those free videos. If you guys need to buy new sensors, the tools that we'll be using to test them and all that stuff will be shared. We'll have the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. Now, we'll demonstrate on N52 engine that you can actually find in BMW X5, uh, super popular engine, but even if you have a six cylinder guys, uh, eight cylinder gasoline diesel procedure is the same. In order to get to your knock sensors, we have a video how to replace them, but uh, you just have to remove the intake manifold and if you have a six cylinder engine that, that will be bolted on the engine block Okay, and if you have a V8 you will have four knock sensors two on each cylinder head and they will be headed, uh, uh, Mounted on the lower cylinder head guys lower part of the cylinder head What the knock sensor does okay, let me explain most BMW knock sensor come in a pair of two Okay, you have one connector with two sensors uh, those sensors guys, okay, they're mounted to the engine block, okay, like that here with a the bolt, they're mounted and they're kind of like listening, it's kind of like the microphone for the engine guys and listens for vibrations caused by early fuel, okay, explosion inside the cylinders. If the explosion happens too early, it's known as a knock, it's going to actually guys cause a knock that will be detected in the form of vibration and the information, that vibration will create a voltage that will be sent to the engine computer and it will say, okay, dude, we have a problem. Let's adjust the ignition timing so we can fix that and we'll take care of it. So how you guys test them, okay, you get a voltmeter, the voltmeter, okay, you get it to millivolts DC. If you're guys on the market for amazing meter, <coughs> we'll have the link in the description of the video below, please. Okay, please check it out now. Okay, let me adjust so you can see good. Uh, find the two of the wires for one of the sensors. You have four wires. One half is for one sensor, the other half is for the other one. Touch one lead to one wire, the other lead to the other one. Doesn't matter which one is where. Okay. Okay, one we're touching now. Second one after that. Perfect. Now the sensor, guys. Okay, let's. Okay, hold it right here. Okay, and you shouldn't get too much of voltage. And when I tap on it with a hammer, okay, or a metal tool, okay, uh, you need to make sure that you're contacting and don't don't hold it underneath. Okay, just right here. When you tap it, you should get a reading. Okay. Now, we are not contacting good, guys. We have to make sure that we have good, okay, good, good contact. Otherwise, okay, yep, we are having a communication, I think, now. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Check it out. When I tap on it, good sensor will send signal like that. You will go up, guys. It detects the vibration. You can see how good it is. Perfect. Now, if the sensor is bad, nothing will happen. It will not go up and down. It will not send a signal. So there is a problem, guys, most likely in the wiring harness somewhere. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.